you for coming back to my channel. Today I have a very, very exciting video. I'm so excited about filming it. I'm also slightly caffeinated because I figured out a way to get caffeine. <gasps> so today I'm going to be doing a first impression and a eyeshadow demo with the new Naked um, palette from Urban Decay. This is the Ultraviolet. The packaging is actually really nice on this. Like, it's actually like a plastic and like the phrase naked and the words on here are actually kind of raised as well. I like the whole like, it looks like a, what are they called? Those acrylic paint pours kind of in the back. I think that's what it looks like. So here are the colors that are in this palette. Sorry for my nails, but. <laughs> But here are the colors that are in this palette. Um, it does come with a really nice mirror. Like I could easily do like eyeshadow with this mirror. And it also comes with a brush, which is cool. I've never, I've heard the brushes in naked palettes are always like kind of good, but I've never used them. Cause I'll be honest with you, every naked palette that has come out looks ashy. Or at least majority of them look ashy, like in the sense where the colors don't look like they'd really work for me. These look like they would work for me, but I do want to go ahead and note with this palette, there's only three mattes, like true mattes in this palette. There look to be like a few like satin kind of shades, but there's not a whole lot of mattes. And the only mattes in here is the shade Optimized here, and then Mind Slip along with Hack. I know that we all can see what color I am. I did actually receive this palette fully complimentary um, through Influencer and Urban Decay. Um, so I do want to go ahead and just say that here too. I did not pay for this palette. I did receive it fully complimentary, but of course the opinions that I'm going to be giving in this whole first impression review is going to be wholly my own. So it came with an insert as well here, and this is what the description of this palette is. It says a vivid addition to the Naked Palette family. Naked Ultraviolet Eyeshadow Palettes lineup of 12 peachy neutrals, trippy lilacs, magnetic violets, and backlight purples give new meaning to the word neutral. I could see that. I could totally see having like more like everyday wearable type of purple looks and it's 100% cruelty free, which is really cool. Really, really cool. So I do want to go ahead and point out that I do see a few shades in here that look like they would be kind of like topper transformer type shades. It looks like the shade VR here and the one next to it, Lucid, which looks like it's actually white, but like when the light hits it, it has like a greeny purpley kind of reflect, which very much so excites me. Go ahead and do my brows really quick and then I will be right back with like my base started and I'll have zoomed you in so you can kind of see what I'm doing a little bit better. I have now done my eyeshadow base for my eye here. It's just a concealer base and I went ahead and powdered it to kind of set it so that way this should help the eyeshadows blend a little bit better too. So looking at this palette, the first thing that I'm thinking of wanting to do is to do like a smoky purple shimmery kind of eye. Um, and like forgetting the whole rule of like shimmers don't go in the crease and stuff like that because I have heard that people with like hooded eyes normally just put shimmers wherever and I think it looks cute so we're just gonna kind of go along with that also the shade digital looks like a nice satin kind of color so I'm actually gonna start with that one because I normally start with the darkest shade that I want to use and then go from there I really really want to get into this VR shade because it looks stunning so I think what I'm going to do is maybe not like a cut crease but I may do something kind of like that maybe like a half cut crease maybe like a halo eye <gasps> actually yeah I'm gonna do a halo eye <laughs> a pencil brush here go and dip into the shade digital and we're gonna go ahead and just work that into my outer and inner corner and again I've never used Urban Decay shadow so I don't know how pigmented this is actually going to be so hopefully this works out let me try to make sure that you can actually see me okay cool okay that looks like it's performing like a matte this shade again looks like a satiny kind of finish rather than like a full matte it just looks like a normal um 
a satin type shade. So because I do have a fold on my eye, I am going to put it in the crease of my eye, but I'm also then going to blend it up as well. Okay, this actually looks kind of cool. Though it's like a satin shimmery-ish shade in the crease. This is new territory for your girl. Um, but I don't hate it. Okay, so you see how I said like I was going to blend it up above my crease? So basically when my eyes open, I still want you to be able to kind of see that dark shade there. I'm going to just blend it up a little bit more here. Because when I look straight on, I want to be able to still see that shade. Thinking either optimized or hacked would be cute. But since it's purple, I think I may go ahead and use optimized. Yeah, I'm going to use this shade optimized, which is a matte um, lilac -y looking shade. Yeah, I think that'd be really cute. So to blend it up, I'm going to take a slightly bigger, like, fluffy brush. Take Optimize and put that right around the room of where I had just put digital. So. Oh, that looks ashy. Um, hi. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> um, I don't know if you could see that, but that looks like I just put white powder on my eyelid. Yikes! This packed shade. Because I have a shade similar to this in one of my novel palettes, and that works out perfectly fine for me, and doesn't look ashy. So I'm thinking this may be fine. Because I, don't get me wrong, I love a good cool tone. I actually feel like warm tones on me don't complement my skin tone um, as much as one may assume it would. It just doesn't to me. So I like cool tones, but like not all cool tones work on me. You know, not all of them love me back. This works a bit better. This is actually better. I'm gonna go back in with that digital shade and then kind of, you know, reinforce that shade and kind of try to blend it into Hacked a little bit more to kind of give it a more blended vibe. Fully played though by Optimize, oh my god. I, I really truly feel played. I'm like, wow, I really looked at you and was hoping and you let me down and not even slowly, you dropped me. We are, <laughs> VR shade, which I don't know if you can see that, but it's very, very beautiful. It's like a pink, shifting, purpley type of shade. It looks so beautiful. At first, even when I was trying to figure out which matte shade I wanted to blend out digital with, I was like debating upon Hacked or Optimized, and I'm kind of glad Hacked works a bit better because I feel like it works better with the shade I'm actually going to use in the middle of my eye. And I'm probably going to use Lucid and my inner corner a flat eyeshadow brush and then go into VR here. And we're going to see how it picks up on a brush. It looks like there's some product there. I'm going to try to place that right in the middle of my eye. Wear it at though. <laughs> Take my finger and then place it. Yeah, there we go. There's the pigment. really really pretty so I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye and my base and I'll be right back with you hi I'm back so I finished up my whole entire face pretty much except an inner corner my lower lash line and of course my lipstick um, but the rest of my face is all done uh, all of the details and products that I have used on the rest of my face if you're curious it will be listed down in the description bar below so along with the lashes. The lashes, actually let me just go and tell you, they're the Ardell Natural 172 lashes. I like these because they're really good for halo eyes without being super intense. They're more, um, they just look 
I don't know, they're so good. Anyway, so to finish up the lower lash line, I'm just going to take a random black eyeliner pencil. And because I don't care about the whole myth of like making your eyes look smaller, I'm going to line my entire lower lash line. Along with that, I'm just going to basically mimic what I did in the crease here. So I'm going to take that same pencil brush into digital and then just go right along that black there and smoke this out. I'm also going to drag it down further than the black. As you could probably tell here on my eye, I naturally have creases right here. Um, normally when I smoke up my lower lash line, I go down past that because what will happen if I don't do that is the eyeshadow will basically be eaten by the, that crease there. So I drag my eyeshadow lower than that so that way even if those creases do start to crease, which normally they do, it's kind of how skin works. <laughs> um, so whenever the eyeshadow does start to crease right here and um, the pigment starts to go in there, it's not as bad and I can usually just tap it with my finger to blend it back out again. Take Hacked and then go along the edges of that and then just kind of blend that out and soften that line. And take it and just make sure that it's mimicking the softness that's on the top outer bit there. We just want to make sure everything is nice and blended. Now to use a mascara on my lower lash line, I'm going to be taking the Essence Lash Princess. This is the green tube. I have not tried the other tubes. Um, I don't know. But I'm going to take this onto my lower lash line. I feel like this is the best mascara for like the lower lash line. And I don't really care too much about it accidentally getting on the skin down there. Because as you and I can both see, it is dark. A speck of black is like not going to really matter as much brush here and I'm gonna go into the shade lucid uh, which is that white shade that looks like it looks like white but it's actually not it's got this like really cool shape too I'm hoping this picks up okay on a brush because again I don't want to dig my fingers and make some mess up oh fantastic that looks really cool okay I'm actually gonna get this color a lot. Make sure that that is a spotlight in the middle. It do eat me. Um, <laughs> so to do my lips, I already knew what lip color I was going to do. I'm going to go very dark purple. I'm going to be taking this shade from NARS. This is painted black. This is part of their Power Matte um, lipstick line. It says painted black as if it's black, but it's really not. It's like a really, really, really dark eggplant kind of color. I'm gonna line my lips with a dark purple lip liner. This is um, NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner in the shade Oh Put It On. This is now the final look uh, with, that I did with the Urban Decay Naked Ultraviolet Palette. Um, so, to talk about my feelings upon this palette. I don't hate it. I think it's an okay purple palette. I'm gonna go ahead and be honest here. I don't think it's like the end all be all. Um, I think the lack of mattes is highly to blame in that sense. Um, the shades that are in this palette, I do think are nice shades. Like when you look at like the amount of like purples in here that you get, that's a decent amount of varying shades of purple, right? But then it's like these peachy shades, which, I want to go ahead and argue this, but every Urban Decay palette has peachy tones in it. And it's like, granted, I do like purple with peaches because it almost feels like a slightly more like neutral way to approach like Halloween orange with purple, which is a good combo to me. I love that combo. But it's like a more approachable way to do that, which I honestly feel like they didn't necessarily need to have peachy shades in here period I feel like the peachy shades in here could have been substituted for other purple shades and like purple varieties like I feel like there could have been a matte kind of like this sort of like berry kind of color I think there could have been deeper berry plums I think there could have been um maybe like a better pastel like maybe like slightly deeper kind of similar to the purple shade that's in the sugar pill fun size palette I feel like that could have been really cool in here too um again the color selection isn't bad and I do like the shimmers I think the shimmers look stunning they look amazing even days like though that's like a peachier shade in here I feel like it looks 
beautiful like it looks really really nice but in general i feel like for it to be like a purple toned themed palette i feel like the purpleness of it doesn't fully come through because there's a lack of diverseness in the purples that are in here if you're not into having shimmers in your crease you're limited to three matte shades and all three matte shades are fairly light and if you're my skin tone or deeper i almost want to say this palette wouldn't be worth it and um would i have bought this palette if I, if i did not receive a complimentary i don't think so and that's purely because the same exact reason for why i've never purchased an urban decay palette and it's I don't think they selected the shades in this palette with people of a deeper complexion in mind. I tried to use the shade Optimize, which is one of the, um, hold on, which is one of the few mattes in here. It's a pastel lilac shade, which I'm used to very many lilac shades looking or like, you know, being white based. But I've also had other lilac shades of this same color or very similar looking not look white on me i tried to use it and it literally looked white it looked like i was trying to blend a shade that wasn't in the palette onto my eyes like it just looked powdery i would have had to build it up so much and by the time that i built it up it still would have been way too fair for my skin tone i, I don't think i'd be able to get away with blending it out on my eye it just looks too powdery and it's not even like it's a fair pastel shade that's flattering i have pastel shades that are flattering this is not one of them like let me show you for example each zodiac palette there is a pastel lilac shade in this palette here it is on my finger swatched on my skin tone that still shows purple still shows pastel it doesn't show white optimized on my skin tone here it is on this finger do you see the difference? One's gonna be more flattering for a variety of skin tones versus this one in the ultraviolet palette not being as, um, it's not easy to use for everybody. Definitely, it gave me a good understanding of like what Urban Decay palettes and their eyeshadow formula actually is. Cause the Wired palette did intrigue me, but from seeing other comparisons and stuff, it just looks like, like it's a bit too late, <laughs> you know? And I feel like there's better, formulas for neon shadows elsewhere same with this palette um i almost kind of want to recommend buying the ace beauté um i think it's fall from paradise palette that is a good purple themed palette i constantly kick myself i'm not actually buying that palette when i saw it in riley rose before riley rose was moved to like in forever 21 i don't know i feel like the the ace beauté one um is has a better selection of matte shades and there's a variety of shades to actually blend out other shades so you can create a very sultry dark look and there's purples in there that you can make it more daytime and wearable and appropriate this palette also i think lends itself to being able to do that too like the shade hacked here i think would be beautiful swept across the lid with like maybe one of these like peachier shimmery kind of shades here as well or if you wanted to have like a little pop of purple like during the daytime without it being too in someone's face i feel like this euphoric shade as well could be stunning on the lid truly i think that there's ways to make this palette work for you on an everyday basis but you are very limited in like all that you can do with it because of the shade selection and for most of them being shimmers i personally don't like palettes that are mostly shimmers simply because I don't use shimmers in my crease. So it would mostly be a companion palette. For me, this is a companion palette. I would use this with other palettes when I wanna do a purple look or when I wanna use one of the shimmers out of here for another look with another palette. But that's normally how I tend to do my makeup anyway. So that would, it then leads up to personal preference. Like, do you usually use a palette and only want to be able to use that one palette for a look? Or do you use your palettes in tangent with others like for example i use all of my palettes like at the same time like me doing my makeup on a normal basis is very chaotic because i normally have about three different palettes that i'm reaching from whether it's from my single eyeshadow palette whether it's from um one of my naba palettes my bh cosmetics palettes something like that so i always have like various different palettes open and sometimes i have them open for like one or two shades out of one palette to then use with other two shades out of another palette and then on and so forth so this palette i think for me is definitely one of those palettes that i don't see myself ever using 
by itself again. I do want to go ahead and thank you so much for coming to my channel and watching this video. I really hope it helped you out. Um, I really hope it gave you a better insight on what this palette may be like for you. And if you want to purchase this palette or not, um, let me know down below. Let's talk about it. If you have any other purple palette suggestions that you feel like I should also check out, um, also list those down below as well. I do love purple. I feel like purple is very complimentary on my skin tone and on my eyes as well. So I do like that color a lot. If you do want to see more of me or see more content from me, feel free to go ahead and give me a follow over on my Instagram. My handle is at uh dot Kiera, and that's spelled K-E-R-R-I-A. Um, also, feel free to go ahead and follow me over on my Pinterest, where I'm also posting like inspiration pictures, my aesthetic, my thrift wish list board as well over on there, and recipes that I'm cooking at the moment. Um, my Tumblr also has outtake photos that um, you may not see on my Instagram that I just post whenever I feel like on my Tumblr so if you ever want to see extra content um and I do also like talk on there as well too so feel free to follow my Tumblr if you would like and also feel free to shop my Depop where you can shop my closet and see any items that I'm getting rid of at the moment any clothing that I've like upcycled or anything like that that will also be linked down in the description bar as well along with the link to this product and again I did receive this fully complimentary through Influencer and Urban Decay I do want to go ahead and thank them as well for sending me this palette I do really appreciate it and I think it was wonderful and I'm so happy that I was able to try it out. Um, let me know your opinions on this palette. Do you plan on buying it or not? Um, have you tried any other Urban Decay palettes? And if so, which ones? I'm definitely curious on that. I feel like the Honey palette got a lot of love, so you know, there's that. Uh, anyway, but yeah, thank you so much for coming to my channel. And if you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe as well if you would like to see more content from me on here as well. Um, I do try to post vid two videos a week, so. <laughs> there's more content coming at all times well thank you so much and i hope to see you soon somewhere on the internet and in the meantime between time take care